Hey, what's going on? What are you saying? You could... Whoa, you hear that chair, man? That makes some ridiculous noise. Bro, that's your Chris, man. Listen, uh, does, I'll check your files, well, yeah? Let me check. I've sent you a file. I haven't received any um, Google Doc. No, it's not a Google Doc, it's a Word file. Your Chris. No, no, I don't want your Chris, man. No, okay. Listen, make sure you comment and you collaborate online, yeah? Oh, I didn't know you can collaborate on uh, Microsoft Word. And you can add comments as well. Yeah, you can, you can. Wow, I didn't know you that. You can. In fact, let me show you five new ways in which you can work with Microsoft Word online. So jump onto Safari and go to office.com. Okay, we'll go to office.com and then sign in with office.com. It's absolutely free to sign in, okay? If you don't have an Office account, you don't have a, a Microsoft um, email address, okay, then you can easily make one, create an email address, okay, and you can sign in. So if you wanna switch users, you can make uh, an email address or just add one here. Okay, very simple to add, uh, create, a new user. So you can create a user here. Maybe you've got a Skype account already, maybe you have a Hotmail account, you can use those to log in to microsoftoffice.com. Okay, so I'm just gonna log back into my own user. The iPad's fantastic because it just uses Apple uh, Face ID and then that's gonna log me in. Yeah, I wanna jump in. Okay, so once you're in, then what are we gonna do? I'm gonna show you five ways in which we can uh, use Microsoft Office Online. Okay, step one is gonna be collaborate with anyone, anywhere, at any time. I remember with the legacy Microsoft um, Office suite, okay, the one that was on the computer, you had to all huddle around the same computer and then send email back and forth for the file so you can you know, collaborate and make changes to it. That's no longer the case. You can now actively uh, collaborate at the same time, in real time, by sharing the file with anyone, uh, anyone you want really, okay? So I'm gonna show you that. Let's go to Word, because we're talking about Word here. Online 365, and remember it's free to use. So let's just create, let's look for more templates and then we'll create one. Uh, I'm gonna go to this one here, it's a five day trip, okay? It's like an itinerary plan for a five day trip. We can start editing this document. This, remember this is online again. So um, what I wanna show you is uh, save to the cloud. This file automatically saves to the cloud, okay? And you can see here, in fact, we can, let's change the name of this document. Okay, we'll call it our five day trip. Okay, our five day trip. And I'm just gonna say, remember to smile. Because we're all stuck in lockdown and it's getting a bit bleak. So this is what I'm gonna call um, this file. Now this saves automatically to the cloud. Now depending on whether you have an enterprise uh, email address, like a company email address, or you have your own personal, you know, you've signed in um, for free online on your personal account, you can have up to 25 different iterations of this uh, saved file. So if you go here, you can see version history. Now we've just created this, so there aren't any um, updates to this document, but you will see a list of, you know, 25 different versions uh, that are saved to the cloud so you can go back and make the amendments if you want, okay? We can also share this document with anyone we want so we can have different collaborators to uh, edit this document in real time. If you just go to the share button, it'll, and you can just put an email address here. So I'm gonna email it to myself, or well, I'm gonna email it to a different account here. And also, while, while you're sending it, you can add an extra message. So I'm gonna say, hey, check day three, and please comment on the itinerary. And then I can send this out. Also, uh, it says anyone with a link can edit, and you can change this if you want, okay? So allow edits, you can have, an, you can set an expiration date, you can set an expiration date, you can set a password. Okay, so if we set some particular password here, and we say one, two, three, four, and it tells me it's a weak password, but that's okay. So I've set a password here, and I can even set an expiration date here. So let's say for the 30th of July. So now I've sent that to, myself to collaborate, let's just say that was the second person sitting there for him to collaborate on this document uh, and the link set. Now I'm gonna open that up as well and you're gonna see that active collaborators can work on this document, okay? So let me just log into my secondary device here and here we go, I can see um, the document here and let's see if I can now edit in real time to see if we have different collaborators on this file, okay? So I'm gonna go here and you can see that in this little corner that there is someone here, someone, there's a guest, look, there's a guest contributor, and you can see where it's located on page one. So now, this little icon here, this is the guest contributor, can you see that? So if I start typing here, I'll say, no, we're not gonna be using GPS, and would mean by train. So here you can see, uh, it's gonna update here. So this is my guest contributor has now updated this document online, okay? Any contributor can also add comments to the document so that anyone else can see, hey, someone's added a comment here uh, or done something. So let me show you how that's done as well. So I'm gonna go down to here to uh, page three. 
Okay, let's add a comment. We'll just click on this little comment button. I'm gonna say new comment, and then I can type in here something. I could say, this uh, is a great idea, yeah? And then I can give my contribution here. And now I've, I've given a comment. So I haven't actually edited the document. I've just given a comment, just like you can do on Google Docs. And if I look down here now, that there's a little icon for a comment. And if I click on that, you can see here, the user, it says, this is a great idea. Someone is, is, has commented here, and I can reply to this comment, and I can say, thanks a lot, yeah? Thank you and I can reply here, and then the user will receive that feedback in the comments uh, on their side. So if you look over here in my secondary device, you can see that I've said, hey, thank you, that's a great, okay, good comment. So you can collaborate in real time just like you can on Google Docs, okay, same you could do on Word 365 online. Number two, listen to your content using the immersive reader. So I'm gonna show you, if you're too busy to sit down and read a document, you can actually, let's get rid of the comments right now, and if I go to view, I can go to Immersive Reader and it will start reading the document. So how did I get my screen looking like this? There are a lot of reader preferences and I'm gonna show you what they are. So if I click on this icon here, Reader Preferences, you can even do a line focus. So a line focus will show you like when it's reading through just that part of the line, okay? Or you could do more of it, a paragraph or a whole passage. I'm gonna to stick to a line. But before I do any of that, I wanna show you this picture dictionary, okay? Look at this picture dictionary, it's fantastic. If I highlight a word, like for example, picture, it will show me what that word means, okay? So for example, what was a photo? It will show me that what that means, okay? Uh, bungalow, it show me a picture of a bungalow. Uh, beach, you see the picture dictionary uh, helps immersive reading by showing a picture of the particular word. So if you're a foreign speaker of a foreign language, you're not speaking English, you can, as it's reading through, you can see what that word means, okay? It's a picture dictionary. Let's go back to the reader preferences. So I can have a line focus, I can have picture dictionary, I can choose a language for it to read in, so I can change uh, the language. Okay, now if we press play, it will read this through for us. Where to eat? What's for breakfast? What to do? Got tickets for a great show. You can also change whether it's a male or female voice, okay? So you can click on here, you can change it to male or female, you can speed this up if you want. Let's play that. Where to stay? Beach bungalow or friend sofa? How to get there, plane, train, or GPS. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit too fast, to be honest. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can change the preferences. So you can listen to your content if you don't have time to sit down and actually read through other comments that people have made, other collaborators, okay, from step one, if people have collaborated, you can actually read through the whole document to see what people have written on the doc. Number three is that you can translate the document in different languages. There are up to 60 different languages that you can translate within uh, Microsoft Word and you don't even need to leave. You don't need to go to another website. So if you go to review and then you right at the end, you can see here translate. You can translate a section or you can translate the entire document. So let's select this part of the document and let's choose, yeah, we've chosen here traditional English, uh, sorry, traditional Chinese. Uh, and what we can do is we can insert that part of the document. So now we have this part here, which is in Chinese. Now, you thought that was wonderful. What we can do is we can read it back in Chinese and we can learn actually a new language just using this content. So let's go back to view and we can go to immersive reader. And now we can listen to this back in Chinese. So let's start from here and let's play back. Well, that's a bit fast. Let's change these settings. I'm gonna go with a female voice and I'm gonna to go to uh, just normal speed and let's play it back. How brilliant is that? You can break the language barrier, read a document in your language or translate it in your reader's language without leaving word. How immersive is that? That is amazing that you can do that without even leaving this web page. If that wasn't enough, number four, you can dictate, okay? Write in Microsoft Word by dictating your voice. So if you speak, it will dictate. Now this is natively Hello. built into Microsoft Word Online. I can't seem to find it, but I'm gonna show you another way where you can still dictate. So do this, click anywhere you wanna talk, you wanna start typing, and then if you click, I've got um, a keyboard attached here, but if I click and hold on here, I can use a microphone to dictate my voice. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press on this and I'm gonna say, Typing can take a lot of time. Writing emails, drafting documents. Why not just type your voice and be hands free? Look at this. Typing can take lots of time. Writing emails, drafting documents. Why not just type your voice and be hands free?
Now, I might need to add some punctuation and a bit of grammar, but apart from that, it's perfectly fine. Number five, no word processor is complete without proofreading as you type. So let's go and check out the proofreading facilities here. Go to the home tab and go to editor. You can write with confidence because you know that the editor has your back. Now check this out. We've got a score of 49. It tells us that we've got some spelling uh, issues here. Grammar's perfectly fine. Uh, clarity is an issue, formalities, punctuation conventions and vocab. So it's telling us exactly what we need to adjust here. So let me click on uh, the spelling and it shows, pops up, uh, all the spelling mistakes that I've got here. Okay, one by one. Destination, what is this? Docu I should be documents. Don't include, do not. So this is formality, okay? And then selection should be, the suggesting that what if we take choice instead? Would be clearer for your reader if you use choice. Okay, we'll do that, we can use uh, choice there. What about this delete? It says cut, drop, remove. So to replace, okay, we can remove, cut. So really and truly, the editor does have our back. In fact, as we're improving the document, it's given us a better score. If I go over here, it says, the editor calculates a score based on the number and type of suggestions to be reviewed and the document length, okay? So let's, we can continue to improve this up to 100%. So let's just go along and check what's going on here. Okay, whatever, we'll take these suggestions that's another formality maybe this one was a oh it needed punctuation well let's just delete that for now and see look at that 98 percent the only thing i've got left is one formality and that's this what is okay i change that 99 percent punctuation convention let's add our uh comma there and we've got we're at 100 percent score now so five new ways of working with word online 365 Microsoft uh, Word 365 online it's absolutely free to use look at the facility that it offers if you found that helpful drop me a like and of course subscribe turn on notifications uh, check out the other videos that I've made on uh, G Suites and of, of course Microsoft Office Suite okay uh, and as always I check you in the next one